Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer, and welcome back to another video on Oblivion Cities and what makes them special. Today, I want to talk about Breville. Now, Breville is the poorest city in Tamriel, or no, it's Cyrodiil, yeah, Cyrodiil, not Tamriel. Um, you know, you can tell by the dinky houses and the culture of it, and it's also a little bit of a drug den. You can find, I believe, the guy drinking skooma all the time, and you can just tell it's a lot run down, very dinky. All of the cities have at least two fast travel locations and a fast travel location to a castle. Breville just has a one fast travel. It's got one gate. At least I'm pretty sure it's only got one gate. Compared to all the other cities, you know, there's just... You fast travel to Breville. It's not Breville North Gate, Breville West Gate. It's just Breville. It's a very tiny town, um, but there's a lot going on. One of the... One of my favorite quests is actually in Breville. And... It, actually, two of my favorite quests are in Breville. One is where you get to go inside of a guy's dreams because he's just messing with magic and you save him from his nightmares and it provides some very unique landscapes. And what's cool about that quest is since you're going into the dream world, you don't get to carry your gear with you. So that's pretty cool. Another cool one is, and I believe this is a quest for the Fighters Guild, but it might also be a freelance quest where some guy's a gambler and he gets shipped off to a fort and the fort's on an island and you have to take a boat there and you have to enter the fort and you get locked in and you have to go through this fort and kill everyone and all these people that they paid this guy so that they can fight you and try to kill you they're like human hunters that's what it is it's a human hunting fort and you have to go through and then you get to kill the guy at the end and save um the dude who like didn't pay his bounties or whatever that that's what it was and it was cool because it's one of the only times you actually get to click on a boat and then it fast travels you to another location. Um, Breville is also next to the Nibbin Bay. It's weird the way that it works, the water systems work in Oblivion because the river passes Leowin. It's like a, more of like a river, honestly. Passes Leowin. And Leowin doesn't really have any coast-based trading. It's just Leowin. Then it goes out into this big... They call it the Nibbin Basin, I believe. And it's this big, open, and it looks like a lake, but it's not a lake. It's actually oceanic. And Breville has this uh, waterway, and, you know, you send the ships in the waterway. But really, other than that, there's no real quests I find in Breville. Yeah, you use Breville for the Thieves Guild to fast travel there to get quests. Um, but really, the only thing other, other than that... Oh, and you do go there for um, the ending of... The Dark Brotherhood, and to get your Brotherhood quests from the, I don't remember, the Night Mother. Yeah, that's her name. And, and that's kind of cool, because you get to see the statue change, and you know, under the city all this time, there's a Night Mother statue, and it's the only city, I believe, with two statues to gods. But, um, I mean, Breville's got a little bit of vertical housing, where, you know, there's housing, then you climb upstairs and there's more housing. But even so, with all of that, it really doesn't have a lot going for it, I think. Breville, I mean, I would assume that it doesn't have a lot going for it since it's a smaller city. Um, I don't tend to hang around Breville a lot. I don't even think I've gone into the Breville Castle. I don't know what the Breville Castle looks like. But, yeah, I, mean, I might have gone in it once to help raid the Oblivion Gates, but Breville is just very tiny, very dinky, very run down. But... You know, it still functions as a city, and it's it's big enough to be a city. Um, and that's really all I have to it, guys. That's Breville. That's what makes Breville special. The landscape around Breville is kind of... It's okay. It's like a standard forest. It feels more like just an extension of the Imperial City's for forest with the added view of the Nibbin Bay, which is actually really pretty. Oh, there's also a ghost quest near the Nibbin Bay. I don't think it you can exactly take place in Breville. I don't think it needs to be in Breville, but there's a ghost you can talk to and find his sunken ship. So that's really it, guys. Um, hope you enjoyed. What do you like about Breville? Are there quests I missed that take place in Breville that you really like? Let me know about that in the comments below. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. And I will see you in the next episode, stream, vlog, or Instagram post of whatever I decide to make.